everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover how to plant garlic cloves to grow big garlic bulbs and have the biggest garlic harvest of your life. And without taking any more of your time, let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is choose the right garlic cloves. Now, I like to plant my cloves that are really big like these. Now, I did a separate experiment in which I planted big cloves versus smaller cloves. Guess what? The bigger cloves produce a lot big garlic bulbs and the smaller cloves did produce smaller garlic bulbs. So the size of cloves do matter in planting garlic. Next, plant garlic in the right time of the year. Now the time of year does matter in getting really big garlic harvest. Now the best time to plant your garlic is in fall, just about two to three weeks before your first frost. Now this is March or April in Southern Hemisphere and September or October in Northern Hemisphere. Now garlic is frost hardy and it can even tolerate light snow. So you can plant your garlic in fall before your ground freezes up, before you get frost, and the garlic will overwinter in your ground and it's ready to grow and spring into action right when the weather warms up in spring. Now you can also plant your garlic in spring. However, the harvest you get from the garlic planted in spring is not as great as the one planted in fall. Next, prepare loose soil for growing your garlic. Now you can do that by making mounds or berms in your garden, or you can even use wooden boxes or raised beds or even cardboard boxes to grow your garlic. Well, garlic does not need too much of loose soil. Well, potatoes need about 12 inches. Garlic only needs about six inches of loose soil, which you can easily achieve by creating wooden boxes, or you can just hill up and mount up the soil in your garden. Now, garlic loves organic matter, but not as much as other vegetables like carrots, beets, and potatoes. Now, since I have clay soil, I use about 70% of my native clay soil, and then I add about 30% compost to create my growing medium to grow garlic. Next, provide proper fertilizer for your garlic. Now, garlic loves nitrogen, so use a fertilizer that is rich in nitrogen or use a balanced fertilizer. So use at least like 842 or 844, or the fertilizer that I use is 442. So use some sort of a balanced fertilizer like that. Now, my fertilizer is organic, it's slow releasing, and it's a very low NPK ratio of 442. So, so I use about quarter of a cup, which is about 50 grams of fertilizer per square feet. If you're using chemical fertilizer like triple 16 use quarter the amount of that however i discourage using chemical fertilizers because i'm all about growing organic produce and making soil living and keeping the microbes in the soil and now it's time to plant garlic now before we plant the garlic i like to mention that i like to keep my videos really concise and i try to pack as much information as i can in a really short amount of time so if you're liking this content so far consider subscribing and turn on the bell notifications and now let's plant that garlic and in order to plant the garlic, all you need is a thumb and a hand. The garlic must be planted thumb's length deep and a hand's length apart. Now you can use a thumb or you can just use the back of your trowel. And I just go about two inches deep and six inches apart. Now while the plant spacing of your garlic is six inches apart, the row spacing should be one foot apart, so about 12 inches apart. Now you must plant your garlic pointy end up and the flat end down. So pointy end up and the flat end down. Make sure the tip of the garlic is just right below the surface of the soil. After the garlic is planted, cover the soil and then water. While the garlic is growing, keep consistent moisture in the soil. You should not underwater or overwater your garlic. So water the soil and right before the soil dries out, water again. Now I have a video on complete guide to growing garlic as well with harvest results. And I also have that experiment in that video of growing smaller cloves versus bigger cloves. So check that out right here and I'll see you in another video.